Hello, thank you for joining me for this edition of 365 Days of Public Speaking. My name is Lionel Yementu. Today we're going to look at the differences between informative and persuasive speeches. Now there are different types of speeches depending on your objective with the audience, what you're trying to achieve. The two main types that I'd like us to look at in terms of comparison and how they differ from each other is informative and persuasive. You create an informative speech when you want to carry across or share some information with the audience. And a persuasive speech is when you want to encourage or drive your audience to accept your point of view. Now let's look at those five main differences between persuasive and informative speaking. Now in informative speaking, you reveal options to the audience. You present the different set of options based on the information that you have that they can choose. As opposed to persuasive speaking, where you urge the audience to pick one choice among the options. Example, in an informative speech, you might say, there are different types of pets in American homes. We have cats, we have dogs, we have fishes, we have birds. And you can choose any one of those based on your personal preferences. But it in a persuasive speech, you're going to say there are different types of animals that you can have as pets, but I think you should go for dogs. And here is why. And then you go on and list the reasons why they should go for dogs. Now, in this case, when you're trying to persuade them, you don't necessarily have to list the other options because you're trying to convince them or drive them to go for the option that you prefer. That's one big, big difference between informative and persuasive speaking. The other difference, when you are speaking to inform, you act as a teacher, meaning you educate, you share your knowledge, you share information with the audience, you teach the audience. As opposed to when you are speaking to persuade, you act as an advocate. You are advocating for one specific course of action. You're not there to tell them about, about the area of information they have, but you are there to convince them to move in a specific direction based on your wanting. So you want to turn them into advocate for the cause that you believe in, that you want them to embrace. Now, another big difference is that in informative speaking, you use supporting material to enlighten the users. So you use whatever resources you can find to enlighten the users. But in persuasive speaking, you use supportive material to justify your advice. What does that mean? It means, for example, when you are trying to convince an audience to adopt a dog as a pet, you're going to say, for example, look, based on data from this organization or this statistical organization, there are 100,000 people who've been bitten by cats last year. So you're using the information to justify the reason why you want the audience to go in a specific direction. Now, one other way is to, when you use informative speaking, to use knowledge. You want the audience to expand their knowledge. <laughs> you want the audience to expand their knowledge when you are doing informative speaking. But when you are doing persuasive speaking, you want the audience to become an agent of change. And the last, not least, but when you're doing informative speaking, you ask the audience, you ask for little commitment from the, from the audience. You ask for little commitment from the audience. But when you're doing persuasive speaking, you ask for strong audience commitment. Example, a lot of political speeches are geared towards persuasive speaking meaning you want the audience to make a commitment to either support your campaign or to vote for you or to take whatever action you need to take as a political candidate for you to succeed. So that's one big example of the difference between informative speaking and persuasive speaking when it comes to audience commitment. Okay, let's quickly review what we've covered. We talked about the differences between informative and persuasive speeches. Now, informative speeches, you reveal options, you act as a teacher, you use supporting material to enlighten the listeners, you, use, you want the audience to expand their knowledge, and you ask for little audience commitment. In persuasive speaking, on the other hand, 
You urge for one choice among many options. You act as an advocate. You use supporting material to justify the advice. And you want your audience to become an agent of change. And last but not least, in persuasive speaking, you ask for strong audience commitment. There you have it. Five differences between informative speaking and persuasive speaking. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it has been helpful. Remember to share with a friend or two if you find it useful. And subscribe, subscribe to this channel if you can. And I know you can. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again for the next video.